welcome back. Happy Friday. I hope you all had a wonderful week. So today I'm going to try to do this video super quick today So, because I, I don't have a ton of favorites this week, but I did just film a tutorial with this look with this palette because I have been loving this palette. It is the Coastal Scents Reveal 2 palette and it is amazing. I like this one better than the original Revealed palette. This I got in my BoxyCharm and I have been loving on it. This gold shade is like so stunning. I, I don't even know what to say about it. So I'll put the look, the, next week I'll put this look up because I like the way it turned out. It looks really pretty. I also love, which other one? Oh my gosh, this all over the lid, is it that? No, it's this. This all over the lid, it doesn't look like much. It's just like a yellow, but it has some sheen to it and it looks, it brightens up your lid and your eyes so, so much. So I love this palette and I think they run about like under $20. I'm pretty sure I will link it below if you didn't get BoxyCharm because those shadows are so nice. So I love that. And then something else I was loving this week is this new L'Oreal Infallible. It's a setting spray. And um, I didn't buy this because I want to say it's like $16 at the drugstore, which in reality, if you think about it, we pay, you know, 30 something dollars for Urban Decay or whatever. Mac Fix Plus is, I think, a little bit cheaper. But anyways, it is amazing. I got this in my Target Beauty Box. So I paid $5 and I got this and like five other products. And this is $16, so this paid for the box itself times three, pretty much. It works just as good as my Urban Decay All Nighter. I love it. Now, I don't have super oily skin, and I don't have a lot of trouble with my makeup fading throughout the day, I think, because I set it with powder, and I use a primer, and all of that. But I really, really, really like this. So... Yeah, I would definitely pay $16 for this instead of paying the 30 whatever for the Urban Decay one. I'll just get this one from now on because I love it. And then, okay, two products that I really, I self-tanned. I've been self-tanning the past couple of weeks and maybe the past month. But anyways, two products that I love on like medium tan skin tones and I don't wear them a lot in the winter time because I feel like I'm just a little too pale for them. One of them is the Balm Bahama Mama. This is what I used as a contour today. It is so, it's like the brownest contour bronzer shade I own, but it is absolutely amazing for darker skin tones. You can really build it up and it just looks great. It almost I think it has, I'm um, horrible at the cool tone, warm tone kind of stuff, but I feel like it has a little bit more cool tone than most bronzers. So it really creates a shadow effect to your cheekbones, which when you're contouring, that's essentially what you're wanting to do is create that shadow. And this one is great for that. I, can, I get the Balm on Hope look a lot. It is, you know, they do a flat, it's kind of like a flash sale website. I'm sure you guys have heard of it, but a lot of times they have the balm on there and they're really great prices. So you can also get the balm at Kohl's also. So the next thing I love when I have a little bit of a tan, I bought this about four months ago, I think, and I didn't reach for it a ton because I just, I wore it a couple times, but I was like, it'll look so much better when I have a little bit of color. And it is the Lorac Bake Blush in Exposed. I don't know why I, my brain froze when I said that. This is the blush I have on today. It is so beautiful. It's kind of hard to open. Look at that blush, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's like perfection. It is, it's a corally pink blush. It does have a little bit of shimmer to it, or not shimmer, it has a little bit of sheen to it, but I think that looks so good in the summer when the sun hits your 
cheeks. You just look like you're glowing from within. So I love these two products in the summer are like summer must-haves. I should do a summer must-haves video because I definitely wear my makeup a little bit different in the summer. Okay, let me turn, turn my phone on vibrate and I want to show y'all my case. Isn't that cute? It's black and white and it says Ashley in gold and it has a little heart. I love it. I got it off of Etsy. So I will link the seller below because it's so cute. That's another favorite for sure. And then my last two favorites are kind of a combo. I do like them separately. Y'all know I just recently hauled Kat Von D Lolita lipstick and I was kind of on the fence about it but it's kind of grown on me to be honest. So it does pull a little bit brown on me, but I do, when I watched my video back that I wore this alone in, I really did like the effect of it. I liked the way it looked on camera and Brad said he liked the way it looked, so I decided to keep it and I do love the formula of these liquid lipsticks. They are they are amazing. They really are. They don't get super drying, but they last so long on your lips. However, they don't leave that funky line. And some of the liquid lipsticks really leave that weird ring in the inner part of my mouth. And it drives me insane. The Kat Von D ones don't. And I do like this Lolita lipstick. That's what I have on today. And then I paired it because sometimes I don't want it to be so brown. I do like these products separate, but if I don't want it to be so brown, this Laura Mercier, this is another long wear lipstick in petal pink. I really like this on its own, <clears throat> but on top of Lolita, it's just a gorgeous combo. So I know it doesn't look like it would go together, but I feel like it just kind of tones down Lolita and makes it a little bit more wearable for those girls who aren't super into like brownie type lips but you want, you want to kind of get into that 90s trend that's been going on so this is a way to kind of tone it down you know and this is a long wear lipstick too so this combo will last on my lips like six to eight hours without touching up or reapplying which is amazing so that is it for my weekly favorites. Please let me know in the comments below what you are loving this week. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend and I will definitely post this look sometime next week. I will talk to you soon. Bye.